Let's talk about near net shape stock sizes and custom stocks. So here I have my part sitting in soft jaws. You'll see that I also have a custom stock already set up. Now these holes are right on size. In the case of water jetting, you're usually gonna leave probably additional stock to clean up. But in this case, I wanna show you the new net shape feature. Now, if we jump into our setup two, it's also in soft jaws. And then if you look at the stock, I have set from proceeding setup and continue rest machining. Now let's send it to Toolpath and we'll tell Toolpath to use our existing setups. I'll click OK and send it to Toolpath. So here's our part in Toolpath and we can see our custom stock got pulled right in. And we can toggle on and off our stock with this button. Let's jump into the strategy tab and we can see our tool paths and the stock being removed. Now, it's really important to note that tool path is avoiding those board holes because they're the exact size of our stock shape. Let's see what this looks like in Fusion. And now we'll just import to current document and we'll see setup one and setup two auto populate with our tool path operations. Looking through our operations, we can see Toolpath has respected our custom stock and it's being held firmly in our soft jaws, making sure to avoid our fixturing.